Hi folks, um, I'm just making this video just to explain to you um, how to do your evaluation of your self-management strategies and their effect on your participation. So the most important thing that you need to know is that you need to evaluate both self-management strategies. Okay, So when you receive your assessment or when you look at your assessment, there are two pages with these questions here. Now what you need to make sure of with these questions is that you do one page for your first self-management strategy, which is goal setting for all of you, and then another one for your second self-management strategy. So you are repeating yourself in terms of the question, but you're applying a different self-management strategy and you're evaluating a different self-management strategy. So what we're going to do with these videos is I'm going to go through the first two questions and just explain kind of what they mean and we'll unpack what this terminology means. And then in the next video, uh, we'll get down to the bottom three questions. Okay. Now, the reason I'm doing this YouTube clip is because if you're at home and you're a little bit confused as to what to do, um, just refer back to this video and hopefully um, it'll help you understand and you know get, get a grasp of what you actually need to do. Um, yeah, so we'll get on to the first question. So the first question is how and why did you implement this self-management strategy? Okay, so what you need to do there is actually talk about what you did to use that self-management strategy. So let's use goal setting as an example. How did you actually use it? All right. How did you use goal setting when you were doing swimming? Did you set yourself a goal? Did you have a goal to bring your togs every lesson? Something like that. And then why? Why did you set yourself that goal? Why did you do whatever you did to increase your participation in swimming? All right, and that's totally up to you. You justify why you chose your self-management strategy. Okay, and then you do that for your second one as well. Question two: How and why did your self-management strategy result or not result in changes to your participation? All right. So when you're thinking about your self-management strategy, and you might like to use your logs, have a think: Did it actually increase or decrease or keep things the same? In terms of your participation so did goal setting make you want to participate more why did it make you want to participate less or, or maybe it was just the same so you're thinking about your self-management strategy and how it affected your participation did it increase decrease or did it keep it the same whatever you write down please make sure you justify why so why did it increase your participation why did it keep it the same all right. Now, when if it kept it the same, you still need to explain why. So there might be a reason. For example, for goal setting, you might have a goal to bring your togs every lesson, but it didn't increase or it didn't result in a change because even if you didn't have the goal, you might have bought your togs anyway. So think about that and uh, justify uh, how it resulted or didn't result in any changes to your participation. Okay. So my suggestion is, is that you. Knock off these two questions first, and then I'll put another video clip on uh, for the next three. But just focus on these ones first. That'll give you a rough idea of where you're at with your self-management strategies, and then you can have a go at the bottom three after that. Okay? When you're ready, you can move on to the next video.